Hey Total Gym team, let's get those abs ready for summer with some killer Pilates moves. One of the things I love doing Pilates moves on the Total Gym is we can make things harder or easier. Um, for instance, this exercise, one of Joseph Pilates staples, is called 100, and it's usually done flat on a mat. But here, let me just demonstrate. I'm gonna just keep going. Okay, so here is hundreds in a nutshell. We're gonna do 100 breaths. So it looks like this. We're gonna start in this position. I'm gonna take a deep inhale in. I'm gonna exhale. Good. Flex the upper abs to lift my shoulders. The lower abs are holding my legs. And I'm gonna take a deep inhale in and go. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. You obviously do that 10 sets, so that's 100. Now, if you'll check it out, I'm on an incline, which means it's a little easier for my six pack muscles because of that incline, but it's harder for my lower abdominals at this, in the, on this incline position. So I'm getting a more challenge there. So check it out. I can, let's say I want to do 50 in that position, then I'm going to flip it around, and now the opposite happens. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Now it's more challenging in this inverted position here, and it's a little bit easier on my lower abs there. So, let's go on to number two. Okay, another Joseph Pilates staples is the roll up and the roll down. So the, again, this is traditionally done in a Pilates mat class, flat on the, on the ground, and probably only 5% of my clients can do it without using momentum and having their legs come up. But now with the total gym, we can have that on an incline so I can really work my abs and not rely on that momentum. Also, my feet are anchored, which is gonna help me. So let me demonstrate the exercise. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall, take a deep inhale in, and this is all about spinal articulation. I'm gonna tuck the tailbone so I actually feel the glide board come under me, and then slowly use my abdominals to roll all the way down. I'm gonna reach up for the tower, Inhale as the arms come forward and the chin nods to my chest and then I'm going to pull as I exhale, come all the way up, dive to my feet so I get a nice hamstring stretch, then check it out. Just like I'm going up against the back of the wall, I'm going to restack the spine, inhale, sit up nice and tall, and then do it again. So as you progress and get stronger doing this exercise, you can actually take the total gym down to a lower level to make yourself stronger so your form is always paramount in Pilates. Let's move on to number three. Number three is called coordination and you'll see why in a second. Now how I teach this to my clients in the studio is I say, okay, Mrs. Client, it's just like getting into a hundred and then I'm gonna open close of the legs and then go back to start, okay? And this one has a little energy to it. So it's deep inhale in, Exhale, and back. Now, the question I always ask my clients is, in a hundreds, number one, and in coordination, how low should you shoot your legs out? And the answer is, as low as you can. I want you to challenge yourself as long as you don't arch the lower back. So if you extend those legs and you feel the lower back want to arch, you know what? That next time you need to shoot them out a little higher, or sometimes people like to stay and what we call tabletop when we do coordination or hundreds. Okay, let's go on to number four. Okay, next we're gonna do a two for one special. So in Pilates, this is called hug a tree. Okay, it's, it's called the chest fly in, in uh, traditional workouts. And I'm gonna add a half a roll down with this. So we work those abs, and then of course, if our chest is nice and firm, guess what looks smaller at the beach? <laughs> Your waist. So check it out. Um, and I would choose a level so you fatigue right around 10 repetitions. So now I'm going to bend the arms, my elbows are soft, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to let the tension take me back and then exhale, come up and squeeze the chest. So it's going to be huge inhale as I come back, I feel those abs engage, and then exhale, <coughs> up and squeeze the chest. And you're going to feel that one, not only in the chest, but in the, in the good old six pack area. Let's move on to the last one, number five. Okay, last one. Might not look like an ab exercise, but there's a lot of core work going on. 
So Pilates, we call this chest expansion. And what I lo love about this exercise is it strengthens the upper back. So it counters what life does to us, computers and driving, everything pulls the shoulders forward. So guess what? When we strengthen the upper back with this exercise, that makes our posture better. So guess what? When we have nice posture from our Pilates work, that waistline looks a lot smaller and we look taller and happier. <laughs> now, here's the deal. Just sitting in this position at a decline with my legs straight and, and trying to stay upright like I'm up against the wall, that takes, again, a lot of core fortitude. So, it's actually a little too much for me, so what I'm gonna do is let my legs dangle a bit. Now, here's the exercise itself. I start with my hands just in my peripheral vision. Now, check it out. It's not about the arms moving, it's about my shoulder girdle squeezing together. Okay, can you hear, can you see the difference? Instead of just my arms moving, I'm going to think about squeezing my shoulder blades together. Because I do that, my arms happen to move. And right off the bat, that's number three, and I'm also feel, I'm already feeling that right between the shoulder blades, what's called your rhomboids and your rear deltoids, the back of your shoulders. So important for standing nice and tall in good posture. So enjoy those Pilates exercises to get your abs ready for the beach, ready for summer. And until next time, stay healthy.